Welcome back to the register and login application with MySQL tutorial. In this episode, we will see how to implement Java code to store and access the database using shared preference. Get more tutorials and download source code from uanblog.com. Now create a new class. <coughs> Say user.java and inside this class we will declare all the features of a user that is name, email, id, password and phone number Now declare a method public user string name string emails and string password. an integer phone number now specify the name email id and password and phone number This information is needed to access database for each of the users and declare a new method this public user string name and string password. The previous one for to store the details of a user to the database and this one method used to access the user details. During login declare phone is as integer value say it's minus one and email is blank so to access the database need only name and password now create a new method sorry class user local store dot java to store all the information of a user into mysql database 
create a method and we will use the shared preference to store the each value of a data public user local store context and specify the context inside the method and local database is equals to context dot get shared preferences and pass the user details say zero Now declare a new method public void store user data user user shared preferences dot editor is sp editor local database dot edit and now you need to edit the database that is during the addition you can store the value of name email password and phone number into database using put string Now create a new method for login information of a user.
string name is local database dot get string name so during the login so you need user need to verify so, so this method will use for verification of a user during the login so write rest of this email and password now last one is integer phone sorry integer phone <coughs> equals to local database dot get int it should be change get string to get int return stored user now declare method public void get user log in boolean Shared preferences dot editor sp editor equals to local database dot edit
spreader.commit this method will be used for during logging of a user if the boolean value of login is true then user will log into the database if not then return false so how to implement it if local database dot get boolean logged in false equals to equals to two else return false Now you need to clear the data from the local database. Write public void clear user data. Share preferences. Dot editor. SP editor equals to local database dot edit SP editor dot clear spreader.com it so that's it for now in next week we will back to you with the next part of this tutorial so download multi android zone youtube app from uanblog.com and stay tuned see you soon